The next idea is where do I want to look on the page for this? So you can see in that advanced search the advanced search page, you can drop down the you can drop down the menu there and, and say, I only want the I only want where information management is in the title of the page. Why would I want that? Because if it's in the title, it probably is the main subject of the page. It's probably the, the, the main thing that's going on on the page. Now, Google also tries to take care of this for you a little bit by ranking higher the pages that have information in the title, but you can be very explicit about it, and you can choose on the advanced search page the words uh, in the title of the page, and now it'll only return pages, it'll only give you back pages that have the phrase you typed in the title. Now, notice what gets pasted in here all in title colon. For each of these advanced search methods, you can either choose it on that advan uh, in the advanced search screen, or you can type in a special word that has that meaning. And I've showed you both here. Okay, next, literal phrase. This one is really good. If you haven't done this one before, you should definitely learn this one. It's really easy to do. All you do is put quotes around the phrase, and it will only give you pages that have that entire phrase on it. Now, if you put words like the and a uh, in the phrase, I think it'll ignore those. Those are, as I've said before, called stop words. Those are words that don't count. They're little words that really don't have a whole lot of meaning, and Google doesn't pay attention to them. And last time I checked, they're excluded from all search results, and they're also even excluded from these literals. Okay, so check this out. I can get down to one result, right? When I search for literally information management, I get 36, uh, 36 million results. That's still a lot of results. But if I take an entire phrase, um, and I took this entire phrase and put it in quotes, I can get one result back, the one page that has that entire phrase on it. So this is a pretty good way of narrowing down your search to very literal phrases. Of course, you've got to be looking for something that's, a, that's a, a literal phrase. Literal phrase, by the way, I, I haven't defined it, means all of those words in that order on the page. Information space management, exactly like that on the page. Okay, there's a ton of other query stuff you can do. And I'll point you here um, to the URL that I put on this page that has the complete list of all the different things you could do. And it would be fun for you to play around with that so that you could be a Google, a Google searcher that's way beyond the people who just type into the text box. A couple of things that I'll, man I'll, I'll, I'll mention is the idea of around. Around means within so many words. So I did this, this search, and, and notice the paltry results that come back, only uh, whatever it is, 8,000 pages that have the words information management somewhere within 10 words of the name Bob Boyko. So Bob Boyko associated with information management within 10 words, before or after, by the way, returns only a very few results because there's very few pages that are like that. Then I can use this star, and star means any old word, but I want information, uh, like information content management or information decision management or information technical management or any word that goes in there, that star stands in for any word. So those are some fun things that you could do with querying. The reason I bring them up is not to, um, not to, to tell you to go out and do it, but to give you this idea that the query, the question, is way more complicated than simply just look up all the words in the right places on, in the index. There's a lot, lot going on there. All right, let me cover a couple of more topics, and then, um, and then I'll show you kind of how this works. And it's cool to think about how does, it, how does it make all these queries? How does it make these things happen? The one I want to tell you about is this idea of synonym expansion. Now, you know what a synonym is, right? It's a word that's like another word. In this case, we have um, uh, the word pictures and graphics, which are synonyms, right? A picture is a graphic. And so when I'm searching for pictures, I also want pages that talk about graphics. I don't only want pages that talk about pictures. And Google, in many cases, is smart enough to say, well, you know, if you search for pictures, you probably want pages with graphics as well. And in fact, it even has a little bit of a syntax here, syntax meaning a way that it says that. You searched for pictures, but it returns something that said graphics. And notice graphics is in gray, but pictures is in bold. If you found one that said pictures, that word will be in bold. But if you found one that said graphics, it'll still tell you, but it also gives you this indication that it did that. So there's so much more to querying in Google than you think is going on. It's just amazing. And it really is worth your time to look into it a little bit more. And certainly for this class, I want you to know the basics of what I just laid out of the more sophisticated parts of querying.